I love finding random things on Facebook Marketplace and, and doing them up. Uh, these these things were an absolute bargain at fifty pounds each. Um, there was a considerable amount of damage done uh, to them, um, mainly because they were salvaged from a fire in a, in a church. Um, and actually, speaking to the people that were were selling them to me, uh, I remember seeing the blaze from uh, my beach uh, from my beach hut. Um, about a year and a bit ago, um, it was such a big fire. I know all the uh, fire brigades were there as well, but obviously, it's not just fire and smoke damage that are done to the done to these. It's it's the water damage as well from the from actually the fire being put out. So um, it did take me a while to um, actually get through all the bits, and I was even with a face mask and all the rest of it, I was covered, absolutely covered in in certain. Uh, um, and sort of dust and everything like that when I finished. Um, they're they're pretty long. I mean, I'm I'm I mean they're so long that they were hanging out the back of my car by quite some distance. Uh, I had to do two trips to go and get them. It was quite a, a fairly a fairly considerable drive in order to get them. Uh, Uh, quite a few of the bits. That, I mean, the in terms of actually the use of them outside of a church. So I, I didn't think that there was any need for the the book stand on the back um, or the hooks on the back of it either. So they had to come out. There was one of the centre um, one of the centre legs on one of the uh, one of the benches was uh, had fallen off. So that needed to be uh, put back on. Um, what was really nice about it was that they were they were solid oak, um, stunning bits of wood. Um, I'm considering that the the church was I think was built in 1860s or something like that. Um, you assume that these these have got to be you know at least at least 100 years old, maybe maybe less. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know whether they would have bought them at the same time as the church, but uh, there's considerable amount of uh, history involved in these in these chairs. Uh, in these pews, I did find quite a lot of chewing gum underneath as well, which was pretty gross. But I assume, I assume that's just down to all the all the kiddie winks in the in the church that are bored putting their chewing gum or being told that they're not allowed chewing gum in church, so they stuff it under the under the seats. I then did find some electrics in there as well. Um, I have no idea why you've got electrics on on the pews. Maybe maybe they're sending. Uh, maybe that's just to wake everyone up, they, they give them a little buzz if anyone falls asleep.
So I've managed to get all the nails and screws out. Uh, I'm still undecided what I want to do with them. Uh, I, I want to show as much wood as I possibly can, but there's certain areas that really don't lean themselves towards having bare wood. Um, there's quite a few damaged marks on these, which I'd like to fill, but I think I'm wondering whether to paint, paint the panels and the two sides and then uh, sand the sort of the rest of it. Um, there will be some sort of marks of use, but I think that'll be okay. Um, well, that way, with the panels, I can fill in these scratch marks. Uh, and the other one's not so bad, so uh, keep watching. If I could have done, I would have definitely would have just sanded the whole lot down and, and brought it back to its natural state. Um, the problem was, is that I think where things had fallen off from the roof in the fire, I'd done quite a lot of damage to the sides um, and to the arm pieces, or whether just over time, it's you know people have uh, treated them badly or whatever, um, and it's just it just took off quite a, quite big chunks out of the of the wood, and I really didn't want to sand it back so I had a dip in it so and they're filling it you know it's always going to be a different color so I decided that I was going to paint the sides and I was going to um, fill in the fill in the holes that I needed to and then um, and then paint it and then leave as much of the the main sort of seat and back as as wood as possible um, just to give that I do like the contrast you know if you've seen any of my other stuff I do like the contrast between paint and wood and making sure that you do show what it's made of and, and the wood that's behind it um, but I'm always conscious of the fact that wood is far prettier than paint in my opinion um, so it, if I could have done that I definitely would have gone all the way back to the wood but it couldn't happen in this case. I thought I was going to be able to finish it all in one day. Um, unfortunately, um, I looked at the forecast and it, it looked like it was going to rain. And I managed to get the bits inside 
just before the rain started, which I was pretty happy about. And I'm struggling with the sides of these things anyway. As you know, if you've watched any of my other bits, I lift and move all of these things on my own without any help. So actually getting these two and a half metre long pews into the, my lockup on my own was uh, challenging to say the least. Here we go, I've got this. Uh, so as I've been moving it around, I think I've knocked the screws loose. I'm in a bloody old screw. So I am uh, gonna refill the holes underneath and then I'm gonna fix it back in. Um, and hopefully that should do the job. Um, fingers crossed. This is the paint I'm using, it's a, like an acrylic eggshell um, from Albany, which is great. Um, it's really, really durable, which is what we really need for a seat like this. Um, I've gone with the green, I, I, who knows if people are going to like it. I really like it, I think it really contrasts the, the natural wood. So here we go. There we go, this is how the colours turned out. I want to take the tape off and then we can get the reveal of what it's really like and then I can... Uh... First glance, I've got to do a bit of sanding on the sides here but it's not too bad, just on one bit. Uh, but it's looking good.
So I'm ready to. I'm ready to varnish the wood now. I've got a heavy duty duty varnish um, that should bring up the wood really nicely. So here we go. There you go, I finished them. <coughs> I'm really happy with how they've come out. Here we go. I have I've finished them. Uh, I would love them. I absolutely love them. I would love to have a house big enough to put them in. I would definitely keep them 100%, but uh, my sofa isn't as big as these things, so uh, definitely got to sell them. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put them up for yet, but considering they're sort of 19, uh, what's it, 1860s, uh, who knows? Uh, I hope you love them as well. Uh, follow and like for more videos uh, and we'll see some other bits and pieces i'm always getting random stuff i absolutely love the random bits uh, and that's what uh, really makes me enjoy these sorts of things uh